Can I, can I see that? To make sure I do agree. It's in the front of his I house. Have, yes. I do not have any problem with this as invading your privacy. This I'm is potentially, sure it. it shows the street, it shows the, where the cars are, and it shows a piece of your front lawn. Thank do you want to look at it closer? Yes. Please. I don't have a problem with this picture. I don't have a problem with this picture. Right. Those are pictures of the front of the house. Right. Somebody was no, doing something no wrong. If there that. was an accident in the street, that's a good surveillance camera. And it's not necessarily interfering with your property. It's right in the front. Correct. Your problem is with the picture of your backyard. Yes. OK? And now your camera, sir, yes. can be positioned in such a way, because this is your house in here, I assume. To the left. No, this no. is your no, house. No, no, that's her house. This is her house. That's her house. Oh, this is her house. Yeah. That's and this my is house. your house? That's my house to the left. This is your house. Yes. And it, if, if you notice, Your Honor, how you can see the left side of my house on the left, well, yes. if I push the camera all the way towards the house, which she would like, I get an awful glare and you can't see anything on the camera. That's cameras. too bad. That would count under the category of too bad. I would like to share one more photo with you, please. Sure. This is outside of my kitchen window. Sure. That's the view I get outside of my kitchen window. That's what you get out of your kitchen window. Well, I'm not sure how she could claim that her uh, backyard is private and when I can see that out of my kitchen window. You I'm, simply, I'm simply she, just your trying house to... Has been, your house has been there. You've been neighbors for 26 years. She doesn't want her backyard or her children when they're, they're in the pool or her family and friends. She doesn't want their photographs within your control. And it's a perfectly reasonable request for you to adjust the camera or move the camera so it just takes in your yard. So you can see if somebody's coming into your house, if somebody's skulking up your driveway. It's not an unreasonable request. But perfectly reasonable people, sir. Even though this takes into consideration part of her front lawn, there's a legitimate purpose in finding out if somebody is being mugged, if somebody is in an automobile accident. It's a surveillance. But you can't surveil someone's backyard. There is a big difference. Your Honor, I checked with uh, my... I don't care what you checked with. I don't care who you checked with. I'm telling you, if somebody, if one of my neighbors had a camera positioned so that it had the view of my pool, and it's true that they could sit in their kitchen window or their bedroom window with glasses and look to see who was in the pool, how I looked in my bathing suit, whether I had cellulite, how, who I was with, who I was with. It's true that they could do that. There is a difference, however, of them having a camera and photographing that. It's the same way that you feel invaded when somebody takes a drone picture of your house, hovers around your house with a drone. Now, sometimes if you're a celebrity, you have to get used to things like that because you've made your life an open book. She not, last time I looked, she wasn't a celebrity. So she has a right to be annoyed with you, sir, for positioning your camera so that you can take pictures of her backyard and her pool. And if you were any sort of reasonable person, if she made that known, you would move it. So you didn't move it. And what she did was she put in a light. Manny. Is that what you put in? Yes, I did put in a light. And the light interferes with his, the, just a, the light interferes with his camera taking pictures. No. Doesn't? No. Oh, that's too bad. 